Hi, this is Matty from heypresser2010.co.uk and today I'm going to be teaching you how to replicate this theme exactly. So first I'll be teaching you how to install the widgets on the right, which is the weather, the date and your um, st statistics for your RAM and your CPU and your hard drives. And then I'll show you how to install the custom uh, explorer frames like this. So you can do this one of two ways. You can go onto my website and download all of this in one go, or you can download it as the tutorial progresses, okay? so. The first thing you need to do is download RainMeter and install that. So it's pretty it's just a wizard, it's pretty simple. Just run, select your language, next, and, and install that wherever. And once you've done that, you'll want to download these three RainMeter themes. To install the themes, you'll want to go to your RainMeter installation directory, wherever it may be, and click on skin installer. So with that you just select the skin and it'll install it. And RainMeter, it doesn't run like an application down here, it's actually in the tray. So you want to go in here and right click it and go to manage. So you won't have as many of it as this, but you'll have a lot of things inside this. Okay. So I'm going to put a screenshot of this in the top right hand corner and you'll want to activate all of these. And when I mean activate, say this is the theme flat blurry CPU.ini. So you'll want to go to flat and blurry CPU. If you click on that, you'll have a button there which says load and that will load it just like that. So you'll want to go through and activate all of these and then this you can rearrange them and you can make it look like this if you want. So the second step after this is to create the actual theme itself like this. Um, before you actually install the theme you'll want to download Universal Theme Patcher and open that and you have a 64-bit or 32-bit so I'm 64-bit so I'll open that and click OK. Click Yes. So you'll have three things with here which says patch. So you want to click that. I don't have that because I've already patched it. And that's all you need from that. And then after that you'll have the theme. Okay. So to install the theme you want to go to computer. You want to go to your C drive. Windows. Resources. and then themes. So you won't have all this, just ignore that. You'll want to go to the theme and drag these in. Okay, Just drag them into there. And then you want to right click personalize and you can select the themes down here. So just select bellow and this is what it'll come up with. And to get the personalized explorer frames you'll want to download them from the website, however, it'll say that it's forbidden. I'll show you, I'll give you an example. Chrome will say that it's been blocked and it won't give you an option to download it, so you want to go to show all downloads and re uh, recover malicious file. Even though it's not malicious, I'll show you by downloading it. Okay. And once you've done that, you want to go back to Windows and go to System32 and then find exploreframe.dll and you'll want to right click and rename it and put dot back afterwards which will make like a, a sort of I think it's a backup file and then you'll want to just drag in the replacement if you're 36, 32 or 64 bit drag in the replacement into there and just replace it and then restart your computer and you'll have this theme. So I hope this works for you. If you have any questions or problems, comment it and I'll get back to you within 24 hours. And as you can see on the video now, this is from my other videos on my channel. Check them out and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye.